All right. Kirby always says, I'm a hermit. I don't go anywhere. I stay home. I got to get out, get some sunlight. But according to Kirby, I believe he said for about three years, you stayed at home and just traded stocks every day and mm-hmm. had no social life. So mm-hmm. I want to bring this up because I want to give insight maybe to the viewers of what position you were in your life as far as what your expenses looked like and maybe your income or the capital you had to be able to do that where you didn't have like a day job. Now, obviously, we know you work at a job by choice, um, but what like where were you or maybe what net worth or what did you reach in your life to be able to get to that point where you could just decide to work from there? If that makes sense. Uh, yeah, it, it makes it makes a little bit sense. I mean, I might have to ask more specific questions, but um, okay. So when so when I when I got to Florida, when I got to Florida, and that's the time you're speaking of, right? In the house, um, I say my net worth was around um, I don't know, seven hundred. 700 800 thousand around that area but i had a paid off house so that bill wasn't there um it was other ex- extenuating circumstances why i was a hermit besides just want to be on the grind i'm always on the grind and hell living now only time i leave the house is for food so so um <laughs> right it's it's uh but it the 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 mental reason of why I was there was just simply because I've been in a you know third world country for a lot of years and I didn't know many people here in Florida and I just wasn't in a mental space to be around people, especially being where I was at, doing what I was doing in other countries. So that was so that part was easy for me. Um the how I had the ability to do it was like I said, I didn't have car payments. I didn't have mortgage payments. So the only thing that I really had as far as obligation wise was lights, gas, phone, water, groceries. So lights, gas, phone, water, groceries, let's say that came out to about three, four hundred dollars a month. And then um the groceries, I don't know, maybe three, four hundred at the time, three, four hundred. So total about seven, eight hundred dollars a month was just my total obligation. Um, at the time, my wife was still in the military, so eight hundred dollars a month was pretty easy to get by. And then, but then that, of course, like you know, Alex, the mortgage payment is the biggest expense that right. you have. Right. And then so that's that's what gave me the affordability to do that. I mean, even still, I mean, when I decided to go to to work was it wasn't because of some grand ideal or grand plan that I had. Right. <laughs> Actually, it was um, it was people that, I, you know, I started slowly and surely meeting people, you know, contractor who came to my house to do a remodel. Um, you know, one of one of the people for the reason that I moved to Florida, you know, I had a conversation with them and they thought I was going crazy because <laughs> they never saw or seen somebody have the ability to just choose not to work. It was always everybody. Oh, we got to work. We got to work. Got to pay the bills. So, you know, they sitting there looking like, how can you do that? I mean, the the funny thing was people asking me, so wait, you paid off your mortgage because people never hear people pay off a mortgage or pay off a right. house or pay for a house cash. So they still was in shock. I mean, I remember people when, you know, my wife first got to her unit here in Florida and, and then, you know, they, you know, standard questions you ask in the military. Oh, did you buy or you rent? You know, we bought. And then, of course, they want to know how much is the mortgage for that? And then and then my wife was like, we don't have a mortgage. We paid it off. And then they looked at her like, you can't pay off a house mortgage. That's how unfamiliar people are with with it. And then so they were so convinced that you that we, you couldn't pay off the house. So my wife came back to me and was like, wait, we did pay off the house, right? And then I was like, yeah. And then she was like, well, you know, they said it couldn't be done. I was like, they don't know what they're talking about. And then um, so that's 
that's the reason why but going to work and things like that was they just thought because they couldn't do it that nobody should do it so they would tell me hey man you just need to get out and get around people get out and get around people so i told myself i was like look i will appease them i will make a, a resume and i will submit one application well i would submit application until i got one interview and then so i got the interview and then i went and did the interview I thought I totally bombed the interview because, of course, we start talking about investments and and uh, stock prices. And the question came up about the company stock. And I, being transparent, I said, no, I wouldn't invest in the stock. I'm just too young to invest in something like that. I would, you know, go more towards a higher growth company. That's, you know, a Reader's Digest version of how the conversation went during the interview. So I'm thinking I bombed the interview. But I met my obligations to these people to say, hey, look, I tried. They don't want me. Now I'm about to go sit back in the house. So I leave the interview and I'm driving uh, home. And before I put in the driveway, they called me and told me I got the job. So, and then so that's that's how it happened. That's how it happened. And, uh, and that's what I did. But as far as network wise, it really wasn't a network wise thing. It was being able to get rid of your my monthly expenses, something that we always talk about. You know, just imagine if you didn't have a car payment, you don't have a mortgage. Um, like I said, seven, eight, eight hundred dollars a month as far as, you know, utilities and grocery obligations. You could work anywhere on God's green earth if you get rid of those monthly expenses. I mean, I can go nothing again work against working at Walmart or McDonald's, but I could work at those facilities doing entry level positions and still be able to cover those expenses that I had. So that that's that was the key to it always. It wasn't the net worth. If I I mean at the time, like I said, I was about seven, eight hundred thousand dollars, but if I had to use that seven, eight hundred thousand dollars and I just had to still pay eight hundred dollars a month and then I could pull up a calculator right now just to see. Let's say seven hundred thousand dollar net worth divided by let's just call it eight hundred dollars a month divided by twelve. I would have I mean, well yeah, I technically could could have just spent that money from my net worth and if it was all in cash, and then I could have lived seventy two years off of that. I mean, just bare minimum lifestyle, you know, lights, gas, phone, water, you know, groceries, right. about 72 years worth. But of course, net worth is not all cash. So it would have been a lot less than that. I mean, of course, net worth, you know, you add equity and homes. Then you got the stocks and the things that I had at the time. But that was the real rundown of how it worked. I mean, but it came to the simple math, math formula of, $800 a month, I can get $800 a month from anywhere. So that's why I had the luxury to just sit at home and do little or nothing. Yeah, I just wanted people to, yeah. And I just wanted people to see like, so you weren't even a millionaire and you had the ability to basically stay at home. And I mean, really, it was just by your choices, like, you know, being able to buy the house cash, but finding a good deal that was like, for sale by owner now i know that might be harder to find but you know the the possibility is there you know looking for a house that's was within your range like you said you were only going to pay what was it 130 or something like that yeah and, i know well, 150 150 was the only thing that we was going to pay yeah and mind you for the people that don't know i know they're saying like 150 where the heck you live in the projects this was at the height <laughs> of the financial crisis so this was the prices in florida was bare bones minimum you can get you can get a little a lot for a little at that time you right know? and it wasn't that there wasn't that many people that had cash assets because florida was one of the places that got hit the hit the worst so it's around 2012 so me coming in with cash it just gave me the ability to do do things that other people wasn't able to do they didn't have the cash, but right. that's, that's really what it was. But how I accumulated it was the key to like, we always talk, everybody, when I told them, they said, oh man, you're lucky. And we talk about it all the time. Luck is just when opportunity meets preparation. I prepared to invest in those stocks. I prepared by taking my income and putting it towards investment assets that will grow over time. 
to give me the ability to be able to liquidate some of it to pay for it. So when the opportunity for the house came, my preparation gave me the money to do it to afford me the ability to not have to go to work. Exactly. So everybody's calling it luck, but it was just opportunity need preparation. Yep. And that's that's how I live my life. I always prepare, prepare, prepare. A lot of times I'm investing to make more money, not knowing what the next opportunity will be. But when the opportunity arrives, I take the preparation that I made to make it happen. And then, wow, I get lucky again. I mean, I, I mean, how many times people tell me I'm lucky is insane. But I must got a horseshoe stuck on my butt or something because, <laughs> because luck, luck happens often, but it's really not luck. It's just putting in the work, putting in the grind and actually doing it and not blaming everybody else for your situation. Absolutely. With all that being said, guys, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and then we'll see you guys on the next one.